see what we can find on biz buy sell today every morning i check to see what new listings have come up uh, in florida on the business broker mls and also biz buy sell and a couple other industry sites i try to see what's coming up uh, onto the market that fits what my clients are looking for so let's see what kind of deals we can find this morning we have an established car wash business in Port Ritchie, Florida. Let's see, they are already pointing out that it's a 2.5 multiple, so we don't have to do math. It's nice. Uh, businesses are typically valued at two to four times the cash flow or the uh, discretionary earnings of the seller. So anytime we see something between two and 2.5, that's worth looking at. Let's see, is there real estate? All right, so it's rent. It's rented 13,333 per month. Gross revenue 600. Asking 500, cash flow 200,000. What's interesting about this is it's it's high enough that it qualifies for, you know, an SBA loan provided all of the the requirements the SBA would have are, are checked. But you could get this for 10% down, $50,000. And in the first year, you're cash flowing 200. So I'll calculate what that's going to look like uh, in terms of, of debt coverage here in just a second. 68,000 cars washed in 2023. State of the art, completely rehab, two tunnel, large express conveyor system. I mean, I, I'm seeing these popping up everywhere. I know they're huge in bigger cities. I live in a smaller town. We have two already with more on the way. These uh, monthly subscription model uh, express tunnel car washes, I, I mean, they're taking over. So uh, this one's well established. The typical model that we're seeing popping up all over the place. State of our computer system, great, okay. Soft cloth wash, great. Five different options, free vacuum. All right, yeah, so all the usual stuff. It's been around a while. It was constructed in 2001. as a, a two-bay automatic car wash. Uh, looks like it was upgraded to that the uh, express tunnel in 2006. Equipment replaced in 2013. So... There's a risk I would consider. I don't know how long uh, car wash equipment lasts or how often it needs to be replaced or refurbished. Um, 2013, uh, you know, we're talking over 10 years now. So maybe something that, that needs to be looked into. Um, but all in all, good cash flowing business, adopting that new express car wash model where you could have that reoccurring monthly revenue. Let's see. 500,000 and let's just call it now 10% interest over 10 years. So you're looking at 6,600 a month. Cash flow is 204 divided by 12, 204,000 divided by 12 is $17,000 a month minus the debt service of 6,600 and you are cash flowing $10,400 per month. $10,400 per month in cash flow after debt service times 12, $124,800 per year. So $50,000 down, $124,000 in cash flow in your first year. So really good cash on cash return. So I'm going to add this to the list for my client that's looking for car washes, and I'm going to keep searching. Here's one to look into. Well-established, successful cabinetry business, Kissimmee, Florida. Kissimmee's right outside of Orlando, so uh, good good market. 525000 big enough that SBA would consider it. You can typically finance a business that is like 300000 or more. There are smaller loans, but they're harder to get. So banks typically look for something that is is three. Uh, some banks have a minimum of five. So I, I typically only look at businesses in that threshold. Okay, asking price is five hundred and twenty five thousand. So you're you're looking at a you know fifty two thousand dollar down payment. Let's see. So we have some equipment, one hundred twenty thousand dollars of tools. So it's probably just the tools and the equipment that are uh, in the shop for building the cabinetry. 
cash flowing 143,000 per year. So let's see what that multiple is. 525,000 divided by 143,413. So 3.6 times multiple. So that's that's high because maybe they're considering the equipment because of the $120,000 uh, and in the equipment. But when you have a business like this where you have to have certain equipment to operate, then uh, you know, there's an expectation that you're going to have what's needed to be a functioning business. Now, if it was very equipment heavy, like a cabinetry business that owns a bunch of delivery vans or you know, just a lot of assets, a lot of equipment and assets, then then you may change the valuation based on the assets on hand just because the asset value, you start to look at the liquidation value of the business. That's not the case here. I, I can't imagine that cabinetry businesses don't have 120,000 in equipment. So it's pretty standard. So we're looking at a 3.66 times multiple uh, on this asking price. So uh, price a little high for the cash flow that they're doing. So successful cabinetry business, they have a future book of work. So with businesses like this, uh, home service, construction, you know, manufacturing, uh, understanding what they have in work in progress is very important because that future cash flow, uh, depending on how you negotiate, could belong to you. Business is located in an 8,000 square foot workshop, fully equipped with all of the required tools and machinery. The company provides quality carpentry and millwork for both commercial and residential customers, excellent reputation, seller willing to stay with the business for a period of time. Nice. Okay. Bring the buyer fully up to speed. Current bids in place. Okay. Staff's reliable. It's good to know. Uh, and there's eight of them. So fantastic. Uh, you know, at that point, maybe maybe even have somebody managing turnkey, you know, that's what we want to look for any business, you really want to look for turnkey. And unless you're in this for a turnaround, you know, you want something that is ready to go that is generating cash flow, ideally growing. And this price is just a little bit over the last one that we looked at. So 500,000 on uh, roughly 10% 10 year term an SBA loan on this would be just over 6,600. It's probably like 6,800, something like that. So let's see what the debt coverage would be. If we're cash flowing 143,400 divided by 12, that means you have $11,950 coming in per month. And we're going to minus out that 6,600. So $5,350 left over after debt service. Not great, but you know, you would be cash flowing 60,000. And if there is a manager, if you're not, you know, working in the business all day, every day, you know, maybe 60000 a year is enough and it's worth the investment. What's important to know is that in terms of the cash on cash return, uh, as long as everything lines up, you would get your money back in the first year that you put down on the SBA loan. So, I mean, it's a really great investment regardless. Like businesses are just so good to invest in because you get your cash back so fast as long as everything is, is as it's described, even at a really high multiple like this. So if you can negotiate a lower purchase price, you know, even better. So let's see what that debt coverage ratio is. So 5350. I forgot the other number. So 143, 400 divided by 12 again. Uh, it's 11,950 divided by 5350. You know, when you look at a debt coverage ratio, we typically want to see at least, you know, most banks won't uh, fund a deal that's less than uh, 1.5, 1.25 in some cases. Uh, the debt coverage on this is two times. So you have enough to cover your debt, uh, your debt coverage and your your loan payment and still have cash left over. So even at this high multiple, still may qualify, uh, you know, great room for negotiation. And uh, otherwise, it seems like a pretty good business in Kissimmee, Florida. All right, well, I'm going to get back to it, but that's been a look at my morning grind. Good luck hunting for deals. See ya.